Hello everyone, so in this video we're going to talk about hashing the password in uh, when we register. So in the previous videos I have talked about um, how we developed the website um, including um, the front end and the back end, especially we focus on the registering uh, user to our database. Okay, right now you see that um, for my database, I have deleted all the user that we use, that we inserted last time. Um, and this is the registration form. Okay, we got first name, last name, email, password, and an submit button. And for the structure of our file, we, we just have the image includes a database to connect and then index and register. Okay. So, uh, today we focus with especially on register. Uh, we re require the database that in the database we connect to our local server. Okay, uh, and I have a tutorial database, and we re require it in our register. Okay, so when the user click, um, well, when they submitted all the all of the information, they click the register button. So we're gonna take their uh. We're gonna save the email, okay, and then check whether it is a valid one. Okay, we also check um, whether a user email has already already existed. Uh, please see my you know, previous video for that. Uh, we check in the uh, first name, last name, password, okay, and if empty password empty error, that means all all of the information the emails are correct. Then we can we proceed with um, inserting the the new user into our database, something like this. Okay, and then we output a message. Uh, but in the last um, in the last video, we save uh, the password at ease. And today we would want to to hash the password to protect uh, the password of a user, even the admin don't know about it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just um, right where we have the password, we will say password hash. Okay, and then we're gonna have something like a post password, and then we got password default, and then we save. Okay, um, that's pretty much everything, and then we oh and here when we do the insert into the database we have to use the new oh we don't because there will be one password here okay so let's go out and check the result now i'm going to register for example zero And example dot gmail.com password. I'm gonna say one, two, three. We'll see how it goes. Zero. Okay, and then click submit. Okay, it has been granted. Go to local host and refresh it. And there we go. Uh, we got the ID, we got the version of email, but in this case, the password has already been hashed. So even um, we, the admin, won't know the, the, the password of a new user. Okay, it's for the security reason. Anyway, that's pretty much uh, what we're doing for today. Um, in this video, thanks for watching and hope this somehow helpful for you.